yellow grass up to the elephant's knees. And I think that that could be the most beautiful shot that you can get of a big elephant bull. And we'll start to see that again when we get the rainy season. William Ar from Oregon. Now you're wondering, seeing as I just mentioned the rain, if the rainy season was over and if we'd f uh, reached our um, required rainfall. Unfortunately, I don't think, I, I missed some big rains. James said not so long ago we had 75 mils of rain, which is impressive. So I missed that. Um, I don't know if we've quite had our required rainfall. Remember, we've just come out of a horrendous drought and it does take quite a bit of rain um, for the ground to recover again. Obviously, it, it looks fantastic now. The grass is long, it's green. The leaves on all the trees are still lovely and lush. The dams, the mud wallows, they've all got water in them. However, the water disappears very, very quickly. And I, I wish we could have had almost a flood just to compensate after the drought that we've had to really uh, refill the little river systems and also to just top up the water table. It did get quite nice at one point uh, when we had all the rain. We actually had lovely staggered rain, um, which was good because when you have had a, a drought, the ground is of course barren, there's no vegetation. And if you do have 100 mils of rain in a couple of hours after a severe drought, you're going to get a lot of erosion which is not what you want. So ideally we had little drips and drabs of rain, 20 mils here, 30 mils there, which is good. It allowed the ground to actually absorb all that water, get the grass to start growing. And it, was, it actually worked out perfectly. And as we had a little bit of ground cover with the annual forbs, a couple of grasses, we then started to get the heavier rains. We didn't see too much erosion. A couple of um, bits along the dam walls and sort of down the, the steep dips that we have. Um, but other than that, it, it wasn't too uh, bad at all. So I don't know whether we've had enough rain or not. I'm not so sure. I think we're going to run out of rain in the last few weeks of winter, which is also normal. That's when you start getting the elephants uh, digging for water. But even now I've noticed a lot of elephant wells dug in the Mulwati which is the, the small river system that we have, or drainage system, I suppose you should call it, uh, down a little bit further east of us. And they prefer the fresher water, so they will dig for it now too. Now, Buttons Cockatoo, you were wondering if it's true that elephants know which plants to eat if they have intestinal distress. I think that was the question. Um, yes, they do. Remember, the animals... Oh, that was correct. I'm just wondering if I did hear the question right. The animals are incredibly intelligent, even though we don't give them much credit. We always say how clever the elephants are. But all of them out here definitely have some level of intelligence to suit their environment. They might not be able to build skyscrapers, but they know exactly what to eat when they're feeling unwell, which is amazing. So every single plant out here, they're very few that don't have uh, medicinal uses and elephants will indeed, if they've spotted something, not spotted something, if they're feeling slightly unwell. The reason why I've gone distracted is because I can hear a car idling just on Voyatella Axis. Now it's stopped, so I wonder what's made them stop. Maybe they've seen one of the elephants. That could be it. Um, so yes, they will go around and eat specific plants. Uh, one in particular that they like to do. Up here it's uh, not so sort of prevalent because we don't have the right uh, soil types and rocky outcrops for the euphorbia trees to grow. But if you go down south closer towards the sand and the Sabi River, there's a lot of granite boulders and that's the perfect spot for the euphorbias to grow. And euphorbias are incredible. Um, not many animals can eat them. They are highly toxic. But the elephants, the kudu, the giraffe and the black rhino, when they do have stomach ailments, are known to go and nibble on those plants and they say that it sort of just refreshes the digestive system so it obviously gives them uh, it gives it a good rinse and cleans them all out and helps them start again so i don't know what they would do up here i'm just trying to think i can't think of anything that is very very good or has a um, has a toxin in it that could help sort your system out but i know definitely down south they use the euphorbias but you've got to be very careful of those trees everything of course in um, small doses you don't want to have too much of that we couldn't ingest ingest that. We, we need to keep away from it. But the elephants and the animals have got much stronger digestive systems, so it doesn't harm them in the way in which it would harm us. 
but you can clearly see that this elephant bull is looking for something specific this morning. He doesn't look like, oh, that looks like a piece of grass, but just the way that he's popped his trunk down on the ground and he's sifting through all the long grass, it's like he's looking for a little forb or something.